The governor was forced to reopen gun stores after the president deemed them to be essential earlier in the week. This is how gun store owner and police officer Tom Matthews welcomed the governor's change in position. We're very happy to be able to provide uh, the services back to the law enforcement community and uh, those that choose to exercise their Second Amendment rights. And Tom Matthews says that gun stores across the state provide weapons to the public and to law enforcement. What kind of guns have you been selling primarily? Uh, shotguns are very big right now. Um, the AR style rifles, uh, sporting rifles, things like that. But shotguns are about the number one right now. How many guns approximately were on back order before this while you were considered non-essential? I would say in excess of 50. The FBI reported a staggering 3.7 million firearm background checks last month, which is just another indicator of massive gun sales amid the coronavirus pandemic. And I think everybody's just concerned, well, well, what do I have to defend my family with? Matthew says he has seen an equal number of both men and women purchasing firearms. A lot of women come in. A lot of women are first time buyers. A lot of them will come in with their husbands. Matthews is being sure to follow one of the key guidelines of COVID-19 as outlined by the governor. OK, so what we've done, as you can see on our door, we put a big, you know, kind of quasi stop sign on there with a note to tell our customers, you know, just take, when if you open the door, take a peek inside. If there's three or more people in, please wait outside. One of our staff will come and get you. Be sure to call your gun shops ahead of time because Governor Murphy said in the briefing that they must operate on limited hours. Reporting for New Jersey News Network. I'm Kimberly Jade.